Couching is a good embroidery technique when you're outlining shapes because it can give you a bold line. So today I'm going to stitch this motif with couching. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Couching is an embroidery technique that involves stitching a thread or some other fiber onto the top of your embroidery fabric. So today I'm going to be stitching this motif with couching. I'm just using regular embroidery floss in different numbers of strands, but of course you can use a lot of other fibers with this technique. So for a full tutorial on couching, you can check that video and follow along to see how I stitched this motif. Because I'm using embroidery floss, I just bring up the thread that's going to be couched from the bottom of the fabric. Then with a needle and one strand of embroidery floss, I'm going to take small stitches perpendicular to that green thread. I hold the green thread taut with my left hand so that I can take the small stitches with my right hand. If you were left-handed, you would reverse that. As I stitch, sometimes it's helpful to move the green thread slightly out of the way so that I can see my mark line underneath. And then once I've taken the first part of the stitch, I can move it back and then take the second part of the stitch very close to the first part. I continue to stitch in this way, keeping my tacking stitches small and even. In this case, they are about 3 eighths of an inch apart. When I get to the end of this line, I can take the green thread to the back and finish it off. And then I will bring it up at the end of another line and begin stitching that line. All the lines in the motif are stitched in the same way until it's finished. So there it is. You can see that the green thread is being tacked down by that light gray thread. And this gives a really great look on this motif. Be sure to click on the link to see how I've stitched this same motif in different stitches and it looks really different. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.